I'm interested in doing a little bit more coding to illustrate the use of joins, or at least some basic joins, that we have on the pair R, in the pair RDD functions on Spark data. In order to do this, I really need a different data set. So the temperature data that we had previously was coming from a different file. Even if I pulled in multiple states, there's no real good data to join on there. Instead, I'm going to use data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the BLS, and you can see the URL here. This is basically full text of their unemployment data. So it's the LA series here. And I've downloaded LA area and then two of the files in here. I pulled down Texas and uh, Minnesota. And so I now have those. I put them in a data directory here. It's worth looking at them to see what they look like. So this is the LA area. Uh, these files are tab separated. So this would be, you could have called this a TSV file. And we have, the main things I'm interested here are these codes for areas and then the nice human readable names. Now this is a fairly large file. The BLS has a bunch of different codes that they use for different parts of the United States. But this is actually the small file. The larger files are the ones that have the data, uh, the actual data sets in them. So this is a, the data for Minnesota. And once again, this is unemployment information. It starts off with a series ID, and the BLS does something really interesting here. These are also tab-separated files. There's the tab, though. They have a lot of white spaces around them. So here, okay, that's a full tab. Here, oh, there's multiple spaces. And somewhere in here was a tab. Uh, and then the value, and there's possible footnotes. There's a tab for that one. Okay, so, so these are kind of interesting. It's good to, you can split them on tabs, but then we have to, to do a little bit of trimming. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to make a new object here so that we can do our processing. And I'm gonna call this RDD unemployment. At some point, I might actually want to do pros, uh, plotting here. So I'll just say extends JFX app. And we'll import that. And I do need to set up my RDD. Or sorry, not my RDD, my uh, Spark context. So I'll go ahead and copy my Spark context. Import the setup for that. I also would like to turn down the warning levels or turn down the logging levels to warn and tell it to stop when we're done. Okay, what do we need here? I feel like I need two case classes, one for each of the types of files that we are going to look at go ahead and close some of those other things. So let's just open these two files here. The area, once again, there is quite a bit of different information on this, but really all I care about is the area code and the area text. So I'm going to make a little case class for an area, and it is going to have a code, which is a string, and the text description, which is a string. And then I want another case class for kind of the numerical values of this. Uh, I could call it, I don't know, uh, and it's the data here. That's way too general. LA data since that is the code that the BLS uses for it. And what do we want here? Well, we want the series, I want the year. This is called a period. Now, 
When you look at these, you're like, oh, those are different months. But somewhere in here, let's do a find, I'm betting that there's an M13. And that's not a month. Uh, the reason they're called periods is because most of them are months, but the entry 13 is year averages. And so there's quite a few of those in there. Uh, so we'll go with an ID, a year, a period, and then the value. So the ID is a string. The year is an int. The period is an int. And the value is a double. Actually, the values wind up being a mix of ints and doubles, but we can always represent the ints as doubles. So, now I want to read this in. So let's do, I'm gonna actually make one line that kind of brings in all the areas here. So uh, we'll call this areas is equal to sc dot text file of data slash la dot area. This has a header that we don't want to be parsing. So I'm going to look for, I'm gonna throw out li lines that include area type. So filter, keep things that do not contain area type. Contains. And then I want to map the results across a function that will take one of these lines and give me back an area. I'm going to split this up. So I'm going to take my line, split it on tabs. And then I want to trim all of those. So I'm going to map all of the different parts to trim and I can return an area that is built with, actually I believe for the areas it's piece of one, zero, one, and two. Piece of one comma piece of two. Sub two. It would be good to know if this works. So areas dot take five for each print line. Run that real quick. See if we get output that looks appropriate. And if so, we'll go ahead and pause and come back. There we go. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. Did those look like the first ones? Indeed, they do. Okay, so this code appears to be working, reading in our areas for us. We'll come back, we'll read in the actual data and then we will see how we can join that together to make something that is potentially more useful for some type of analysis.